Hey what's up guys, Sam here with Custom PC Review and today we're going to be talking a little bit about computer storage. Now mainly I'm going to talk about the two major methods of storage and that would be the hard drives shown here or the solid state drives. Now this is going to be a supplement to the hard drive buying guide on CustomPCReview.com. So if you are interested in that, definitely check the link in the description box below. All right. So the first thing I want to make clear is that these right here are storage drives. These are hard drives and these are solid state drives. Do not confuse them with these right here or this right here. These are memory or RAM, not storage drives. So with that out of the way, we are going to move into the main thing and that is the storage drives. So a little introduction on these drives I have in front of me. This one right here is a standard three and a half inch 7200 RPM hard drive. Next to it you have another hard drive and that is a 2.5 inch hard drive and over here we have the SSD. Now this is a solid state drive. No, it's not a solid disk drive. No, it's not a solid hard drive. It is a solid state drive. Now all three of these do come with SATA connectors right here as you can see and this is pretty much what a SATA connector looks like. So definitely I'll show you the one on the two and a half inch drive and as you can see they are very much the same right here so definitely all three can be connected to the SATA interface okay so with that out of the way I am going to talk a little bit about their differences now these right here are hard drives and the way they work is that they have platters inside the hard drive itself and what it does is it spins around and that's why you hear the the hard drive spinning up uh, whenever you start your computer and what happens is that there is a moving arm in there that's kind of like this and it just moves around on top of the platters when the platters are spinning and this arm is called an actuator arm and what it does is it basically writes or deletes data from the drive and as you can imagine, anything spinning around at high speeds like 7,200 rotations per minute or RPM requires a lot of electricity. It creates heat and dropping the drive itself, such as going down like this, obviously might cause the actuator arm to physically touch the hard drive. And this might cause damage. So in contrast, solid state drives right here are basically just memory chips. And these chips in, are inside the drive itself. So there are no spinning disks like here. And it's basically just a bunch of memory and a controller in there that's controlling all the memory and how the data is written to the memory. So as you can imagine, it's much faster since disks do not have to spin up and spin down in order to access data. Now, how much faster? Well, depending on the SSD, you are looking at about three times or more speed. So these drives also draw less power, they create less heat and are much more physically durable than hard drives. Okay, so why do people buy hard drives instead of SSDs? Well, it is definitely the price and the ability to hold more data. Now because the current cost of memory chips for the SSDs are quite expensive, you are looking at pretty high prices for these things which is why most people only purchase 80 to 240 gigabyte SSDs. Now I do recommend you purchase a 120 gigabyte or larger SSDs. And, and the reason for that is because 80 gigabytes I do think is not enough and 60 gigabytes definitely not enough. And the reason for that is, well, typically Windows 7 runs around 20 gigabytes or so and most games today run about 10 to 20 or so and they are growing in size with the newer games and and then you're gonna have to add stuff like word and you know all the other applications you need to install so by the time you are done installing everything I mean the, the 80 gigabytes is definitely probably gonna be running pretty close to zero so I would definitely recommend 120 gigabytes or more 
Now on the other hand, hard drives here are definitely a lot more affordable. Even at like one, two, three, or even, I think the newest one is like four terabytes now. So hard drives are definitely a lot more affordable. However, one thing you do have to note is that currently hard drives are pretty expensive because of the flooding in Thailand. And so there is a pretty big shortage of hard drives right now on the market. So if there's any time to really buy an SSD, it would be now. And additionally, SSDs also have a certain number of write cycles before they can no longer be written to. However, as long as you conserve these write cycles through optimizing your operating system and things like that, SSDs should theoretically last you for many years and most often they should last you longer than hard drives given that you do optimize uh, SSDs to work well with the operating system and you don't do unnecessary writes you know whenever you feel like it kind of thing. Anyways, given the pros and cons, what applications do I recommend SSDs here and what applications do I recommend traditional hard drives? Well, for the first part, if you have a laptop, I would definitely not recommend you go with a traditional hard drive and I would definitely recommend you go with an SSD. Now this will make boot up, shutdown, standby, hibernate just much, much faster. In addition, you will also save battery life. And since laptops do get thrown around quite often, SSDs are definitely more equipped to deal with the physical abuse. And honestly, if you've gone through a hard drive failure or anything like that, um, you'll know that it does suck a lot. So definitely I would recommend the SSDs, especially if you throw around your laptop, you don't treat it quite the way you should. Now another application I'd recommend the SSDs for is a boot drive on the PC. And by installing all your applications on the SSD itself and purchasing a, say like a separate hard drive like this one right here to store all your files, You'll be able to boot and shut down your computer much faster, op open applications much faster, and for gamers out there, load levels faster. In addition, if you don't need any of the files from your storage drive, this is most likely going to sit in idle, so it's not really going to be loud at all. And um, pretty much that way you do get the best of both worlds. So anyway, I do hope this video kind of helped you out a bit. Um, this is just an overview, so like last time, make sure to comment below or go to forums.custompcreview.com if you have any questions at all. Now I would appreciate it if you did go to the forum so we can start some discussions there. The commenting system on YouTube is broken uh, and I do feel bad when I can't respond to a comment because I just couldn't find it. So anyways, links will be available in the description box below for the forums. So be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.